hello everyone welcome to the my channel this is learning institute and today i am going to discuss about the angular momentum so i have already discussed the commutator in two parts and this is the last uh, summary of commutators in terms of angular momentum so this is known as angular momentum algebra this i discussed uh, in the previous video the commutator of lx ly is equal to i h bar lz and similarly a commutator of ly lz is equal to i h bar lx and lz lx equal to i h bar ly this angular momentum commutation relations and their consequences are extraordinarily important in understanding the three dimensional quantum mechanics in general and atoms and molecules in particular so angular momentum ke commutation relations kafi important hai quantum mechanics mein atoms aur molecular ki study mein particularly eigen value spectrum the algebra of commutation relations can be used to obtain the eigen value spectrum so since l y and l x do not commute they cannot simultaneous diagonalize diagonalized and do not share an orthonormal basis set of simultaneous eigen function so this shows that this is not equal to 0 this is not equal 0 so this all commutators is not equal to 0 so we can say that these are not commutators they they are not commute with each other here lx and ly do not commute because the commutation relation between these two are not equal to 0 so aise case mein jahan दो राशियाँ आपस में कम्यूट नहीं करती हैं तो हम अलग अलग दोनों को फाइंड नहीं कर सकते प्रिसाइजली नाउ वी चूज टू यूज एज अ बेसिस द आइगन केट ऑफ एल जेड दिस इज द केट नोटेशन आइगन केट्स ऑफ एल जेड वी नोट दैट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ magnitude of the angular momentum is related to the square angular momentum this is l into l so this l into l gives l square so we can easily find the commutator of l square and l which is equal to 0 can verify as a, so l2 and this is lx so the commutator of these two l2 and l square and lx is equal to 0 this is l square and this is the value of l square l square is equal to lx square plus l y square plus lz square so after solving we get 0 so these are simple calculation clear similarly we can verify as l2 lz commutator of l2 lz is equal to 0 to get some practice uh, with such manipulation so since uh, here these are commute with each other because the commutation relation is equal to 0 so we can say that they can be diagonalized simultaneously 
and we can determine common eigenfunction and this can be done by this process let lambda mu this is the ket notation ket lambda mu be a normalized eigenfunction of l square with eigenvalue lambda h is bar square of lz and of lz with eigenvalue mu h bar to jo ye eigenvalue hai wo l square ke liye hai and this is the eigen function and this is the eigenvalue and this is the eigen value of l z this is the eigen value and then we have to find a lambda and mu which is unknown quantity now the trick is to define the rising and lowering operators and this question was asked in many entrance exam L plus minus is equal to L x plus minus I L y, and as usual, when we encounter with new operators, we determine their commutation relation with known operators. So we can prove as L z and L plus minus commutation relation of L z and L plus minus is equal to plus minus h bar. L plus minus. So when we take plus sign, here it is plus, and when we take L minus, and this is minus, and this can be verified as So this is L Z, and this is L plus. So commutation relation of L Z and L plus can be written as L Z, and this is L plus. And after simplify, we can write as L Z L X plus I L Z L Y. And we know that the commutator of L Z and L X is equal to I H bar L Y plus this I. And L Z L Y is equal to commutator of L Z L Y is equal minus I H bar L X. So this commutator will give minus I H bar L X. And finally take H bar as a common, and this is L plus. So the final answer is the commutator of L Z and L plus is equal to H bar L plus. Similarly, we can find L Z comma L minus. That is commutator of L Z and L minus. And we know that the commutators are defined as A B. If A and B are two operators, then A B is equal to minus of B A. B A. So commutation relation of A B is equal to minus of commutation relation of B A. So if the question was asked as L my commutation relation of L minus and L Z, like that L minus and L Z, then the sign sign will change. Then the sign will be changed. By this property, commutation of A B, commutation relation with A and B equal to minus commutation relation of B and A. So here, coming minus sign. If this is a commutation of L Z with L plus with L Z, so here minus sign. So we can find as a Commutation relation of L plus and L Z is 
nothing but minus of h l plus that is minus of h bar l plus this is same with minus sign clear similarly we can find uh, the other relation also l plus and l minus so this is l plus and this l minus after simplify we get this and this is nothing but the lz lz therefore we can write as uh, this is equal to l square minus lz so this becomes l square minus lz square and plus h bar lz really similarly we can verify that as uh, l minus and l plus which is equal to this and the finally we get this so these relations are very important this relation this relation and this this is equal to also this relation is really important so this is all about for this video Thanks for watching video. Thank you.